Well, we're in the heat of summer right now, and you think about how the hot sun affects your skin. You put sunscreen on it, but do you think about how the hot sun affects your boat? And that's one of those things that sometimes doesn't always come to mind, but your skin, your boat, they have something in common. They have pores on them, and you need to protect your boat. So when your skin gets dry and you put lotion on it, it fills the pores, makes it smooth again. A fiberglass boat has pores in the glass. That's why we wax our boats. So you want to protect it from dirt, rain, and sun getting in and doing damage to your boat. You need to wash it. You need to wax it. And so keep that in mind as it's sitting around this time of year that having a nice clean boat makes a boat last longer. The other things you have to think about with a hot sun is when your boat's got a cover over top of it and the sun is really, really hot, it's baking inside there. So it's not a bad idea to have a little bit of an air vent to get air through there. So not all that heat inside your boat just sits there and cooks everything inside of it. And when you think about that, moisture in your boat. Say you got in your boat last time and everybody was soaking wet in the boat from climbing in and out of it and everything got wet and then you throw your cover over top of it. Well, you're just asking for mildew to build up inside your boat. So a good dry boat is always a better way to store a boat than a wet one when you put a cover on it. You need to think about the contents inside your boat. Did you leave food inside of it? Has your cooler still got water in there? I always prop my cooler up after I dry it out. Prop it up with something so the lid stays open and it can let air circulate through it. So think about your boat when it's sitting in the sun. Think about it when it's sitting out. Even gas in your gas tank. If you've ever seen your gas expand and start to leak out of the tank, it's because it's from the heat, from the sun. It gets so hot inside there. So one of the things I like to do is I'll wait and gas up on the way to the lake or the day before I'm going to the lake instead of the way home. That way you don't have a completely full gas tank that maybe leaks out, gets in your driveway, does damage to your boat, your cover, your carpet, or the decals on your boat, or just makes a mess for you know a cat or a dog to get into. So you just wanna think about things that you can do to help your boat make it through this hot time of year better and be able to be ready to go to the lake when you're ready to go to the lake. Come on in and join the Stokely team. Get the best from Stokely's Marine.